To be beside the Charles River, you want to have something that's going to stand out. You look at the boathouse and the waves in the wood and the glass pavilion for sculling. When you see that lit up at night and the boat's inside, you say, wow, I wonder what's going on in there. I got a letter from U.S. Rowing telling me that there were a group of people that were hoping to start a public access rowing program. On day one, I showed up and I was the only participant at community rowing. I had an executive director and a coach and myself. I needed to go out and find other people so I went and stood on the bridges, and anyone who looked down at the water, I said, would you like to learn how to row? The first boathouse was essentially a large tool shed. It was a lot of work, <laughs> and you only do that kind of work when you really love something. Community rowing being the only way you could access rowing if you uh, weren't already at an Ivy League college or a prep school, it grew pretty quickly. And so we sort of slowly amassed and moved into the daily rink, which had been abandoned during the off-seasons. When you have a lot of space, you fill it quickly. So a program that used to fit in essentially a tool shed was now occupying the entire skating rink. About four months after I became president, one weekend I got a call from the local legislator saying, we've got a bill in front of the house to privatize the skating rink that you're, you guys are using. What do you think of it? And I said, well, that doesn't sound like a good idea to me. So it was very clear that something had to happen in order to give it a permanent home. People believed the mission, and we, we did it in four years. We built it as a practical boathouse. There's, there's no spare space. We wanted a boathouse that reflected the organization's character. We wanted it to be open. I think it's a wonderful legacy to Harry Parker. He was a great teacher and mentor to so many other coaches, many of whom got their start here. We had been so used to coming back to the skating rink and the shed and putting our boats in there and being wet and cold and to be actually able to walk into a building that had heat, that was spectacular. We're trying to take away all of the barriers to rowing, and some of them are just perception that rowing is only for the elite, or you have to know how to do it to join. That is our mission, to make rowing accessible to anybody who wants to try it. We wouldn't be able to serve people with disabilities if we didn't have everything fully ADA compliant and have all the ability to meet their equipment needs here. I think the best thing is when I see the dock just full of wheelchairs and prosthetics, just, just lying on the dock because everyone's out rowing. They're just out on the water doing what everyone else does. That's my favorite moment. About the time I joined, about uh, 1998, we started our Row Boston program, which provided rowing for the public schools in Boston. For kids from Boston to bring their friends and family here and say, this is my club, uh, and look, this is awesome. That is really powerful and has really helped us communicate our mission and our message so much more effectively in, in ways I couldn't have imagined until you actually see this beautiful award-winning boathouse. There's a lot of trust that goes into rowing. You gotta trust that everybody in the boat's gonna go um, 100%. I've been really challenged here, which allowed me to accept other challenges like at school or just like in life in general. Oh, well, I think it's pretty fun when other crews come here and they're all marveling at all the stuff that we got and we're like, yeah, this is our house. It's pretty cool. You get out on the river and you say, wow, I wanna be here again tomorrow. How can I make this happen? We welcome people. We want people to come in and sit on the dock and, and enjoy what we have here because we know it's really special and we want to share it. It's, it's a building that when you walk in you feel good about. And for a lot of people, the years that we were in the rink were years when we were just scraping by and felt like second-class citizens on the river. 
and now with our own boathouse, we feel we're the equals of anyone on the river.